Good morning and welcome to this video United Tribes time. I enjoyed seeing some of you at the drive through Backpack Blessing last week and I want all of you to be sure and tune in this morning to activity time at 10 o'clock on Zoom. So this morning I'm going to read a story to you that I think will help with what some of us are feeling. I know some of us are missing our old friends, our church family, the people that we used to interact with all the time, even if we're back at school. I know some of you mentioned at the Backpack Blessing that you missed the kids who weren't there because there weren't as many kids there. And some of you are at home and you miss your teachers. And some of you talked about missing United Tribes and um, your activity time aides and all the people that you're usually around. And so when I'm thinking about missing people, what I try to keep in mind is that they're all with me. And when I say they're all with me, I'm talking about this big thing called interconnectedness. And if we were to unpack that word and take it apart, really it just means that we're all part of one another. And so I bet if you asked your parents, they would remember a game I used to play when I was a kid called Five Degrees. And we would think of two famous people and you had to, within five people, make those two people connect together. And you can always do it. So I want you today to get your, your grown up in your house to play um, a nature version or a people version with the people you know. And so I could think of an elephant and a rock and I bet within five degrees I could connect those things. Or I could think about um, my mom and my minister and within five degrees I could connect those people and so I'm, I'm seeing my mom, so in a way, I'm really connected to all the people that she's seeing. So think of someone you're seeing, and then think of the way that they're connected to others. And you could be seeing them on Zoom, or you could be talking to them on the phone. And I think you'll realize that you're connected to a lot more people than it might feel like when you're just thinking about missing people. So try that game. And then I want you to listen to the story I'm about to read because it's going to make you think of connectedness in a new way. And so I also had a few scriptures from the Bible because that's another place I know in our family we turn when we need some comfort. So in Romans, there's a scripture that says, So we who are many are one body in Christ. And individually, we are members one of another. So that's the Bible telling us that we're all part of one thing. And then in another place it says, He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. So again, the Bible's telling us that everything holds together and everything is connected. And the last one I wanted to share with you says, For even though I am absent in body, I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see you. So I think it's pretty clear the Bible gives us lots of messages for the fact that we're there together and we're one thing, we are connected. So check out the story next and then join us for activity time. I hope you have a great week. Bye.